Oh, oh, hey guys, sorry, didn't, didn't see you there, sorry, I was just modeling our new state-of-the-line trendy Conholio Sickness fashion line, which you could only exclusively get here on wearechange.org. We're totally screwed, guys. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Zukadowski of wearechange.org. A lot of issues to get into today. Hold on, I maybe I should just stay like this because it's trendy now. Hold on, I need a hand pocket to do the switching here. There we go. Okay. And moments ago, we saw more senseless violence in the city of Philadelphia after a police-related shooting where a man was shot and killed after brandishing a knife and walking towards the police. And it looks like civil unrest is the new norm as massive protests and riots are rocking Europe after, of course, new lockdown measures, which we're going to be talking about in this video, as well as a backdrop of all the pretty crazy contradictions that we are hearing related to this specific subject. We're going to do that plus a lot more all on this independent media channel that of course and partly is shadow banned censored in some ways and of course now 100 percent demonetized but hey youtube we got our own personal safe space now so maybe you know maybe youtube you can help you know br bring back some of our livelihood i mean come on we're doing the bubble thing come on but until they do that and let go of some of the big tech control of information we still have brave yes this is a browser just like chrome just like mozilla fox it doesn't cost you anything to use it is free and when you're using it it saves you a boatload of time as you can see from my own personal ratings it has saved me almost 12 hours now it prolongs the battery life of your phones in many instances it gives you an extra layer of privacy and security and you get rewarded, as well as me, with cryptocurrencies for just simply using it. Now, especially with the crazy crypto boom that we are seeing, um, uh, yeah, go check out the Brave browser immediately. You don't lose anything. You gain a bunch of things. If you use it for over 30 days, if you use our specific link, we get a small commission of these cryptocurrencies, which allow us to exist. This is a win-win for everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. Click the link, download the Brave browser. I have never seen a complaint about this. And holy cow, what are you doing? Download it right now, if you choose. Now, in other news, you might also be asking yourself, Luke, I was on your Instagram page, and why in the world did you buy a flamethrower? Well, that's a very swell question there, Bob. Two-part response here. Um, why shouldn't I have a flamethrower should be the question. Two, we're doing a big event called Effit 2020 in New Hampshire where you, yes, you the viewer, right now, will be able to use it as we are doing a 2020 post-election bash with rage therapy, pumpkin smashing, watermelon smashing, car smashing, and of course, the use of a flamethrower. If you're interested in using a flamethrower with me and bashing things up like it was no tomorrow, and if you come Saturday, oh boy, that's gonna be a big fun event as well since we're gonna be on the range. If you're interested in doing all that, check out the link down below. I literally just conducted this test. I will be uploading the videos of the test of the flamethrower in just a few moments. We are even going to have government-connected pedo scarecrows. Yes, you heard that correctly during this event. And yes, for, for, for all the Karens out there, don't worry. None of the food is going to be wasted. It will be donated to a local farm where pigs will eat it. All the safety measures and precautions are being met in high exceptional standards. And we will be on a farm working with an expert that has a lot of experience working with fire when it comes to preserving farmland. So yeah, Karen, don't worry. We, we got to cover it. Just come anyway. It's going to be a lot of fun. Get your tickets before they sell out. We already had a few purchases yesterday, and uh, I definitely expect these two separate events to sell out fast. Now, if you remember from our coverage from the beginning of the Conholio sickness, we definitely took a more cautious approach this was a new situation it was developing we always preached that people needed to be responsible for themselves and their loved ones but we also specifically highlighted sweden as a very important test case to keep our eyes on since 
they will surely be the country to look at when it comes to their unorthodox approach towards this entire situation that was totally different than the majority of the world. And according to some experts, Sweden actually beat the conholio sickness without lockdowns, without mask mandates, without big government interfering in their lives, by interrupting it with ridiculous rules and regulations that were made up by politicians who were using them for their own political benefit, just like we saw in Michigan, where right-wing activities were shut down while left-wing activities were deemed essential. Well, you didn't have any of that in Sweden, since, of course, their approach was very minimal compared to everyone else. Sweden did ban large gatherings, but so far, right now, now, because of their kind of laissez-faire approach, in large part, it looks like they are avoiding the second wave. A second wave that many, quote, experts are warning about, telling is coming. Joe Biden was even talking about a dark winter. And from all the information that we have on hand right now, it looks like Sweden is going to be avoiding that. Now, this, of course, should make you really consider what's going on in the rest of the world, especially in the rest of Europe, where the numbers allegedly of the Conholio sickness are skyrocketing in places like Italy and Spain, where, of course, they had some of the strictest lockdowns. Lockdowns that are coming back and in part is being met with violence from its citizenry because they are sick of having a government shut down every aspect of their lives. Now, whether you think this is wrong or right, it doesn't really matter because it's clearly evident that this situation is turning out of control. Demonstrators are becoming more violent all throughout the places that locked down the most. Now, of course, their livelihoods have been uprooted by government. Some of the protesters are just economic opportunists. But regardless, these protests are spreading and they're spreading very fast, which definitely defeats the purpose of an entire lockdown. Now, when you look at the, uh, quote, official data, when you look at the charts, when you look at what's happening right now, you have to ask yourself, what in the world is going on? Countries like Czech Republic, Belgium, the Netherlands are seeing a huge increase in cases. Meanwhile, Sweden is still the least affected. And we have to acknowledge here, one of the reasons why there's a lot of frustration is because there's still a lot of information that is unknown and also a lot of information that's being contradicted by the experts or supposed experts or politicians. We hear one thing one day, another thing a second day. First thing we heard was supposedly correct now, but no, wait, there's a caveat to that. This is a very fast moving situation. I think that's why it's important to pay attention to it, especially in a critical way, which is needed more than ever. Earlier this year, we heard that the use of a flu shot will make the conholio infection worse. Now we're hearing information that a flu shot might actually, quote, reduce the infection of the conholio sickness. We've heard a lot of contradictory information from China, and it looks like, according to some experts, the data that they are providing in the world has been manipulated. It's also important to note that there is a Chinese virologist who is literally claiming that the conholio sickness was made in a military lab, specifically in Wuhan, and that a lot of the genome data surrounding this particular sickness is being hidden because it could potentially be a bioweapon. This is, of course, according to the Chinese virologist whistleblower who had her family kidnapped in China. Today, we are also learning from The Telegraph that just released an article showing how the conholio sickness is no longer increased by traveling abroad. Yes, The Telegraph is now reporting that traveling is A-OK -okay, since some data is pointing that the infection rate would stay the same. Other surprising news today we are getting from Dr. Fauci, who is saying that the conholio sickness jab will, quote, only prevent symptoms, but not block this actual infection, which is yet another contradictory statement from Fauci compared to Donald Trump that thinks that the jab will solve all of our problems very soon at that, with the help of the military that will be giving it out widely very soon. This is according to Donald Trump. Fauci looks like he is questioning him on this and even questioning the reality of this jab, which we here have been questioning for a very long time since there never has been a jab like this ever before for this general type of infection, this general type of sickness. 
whether it was SARS, whether it was MERS, this category, there has never been a jab for. There was also a recent scientific study surrounding masks and its efficiency, which Danish researchers are saying many journals are not even brave enough to publish their data. Some scientists are rejecting this study, but regardless, it, it should be debated. It should be accepted in a journal and the data should be peer-reviewed. Peer the fact that people are even afraid to look at data and information here shows you that something is up here and it's definitely not being handled the right way and I think that's the overall general statement when it comes to the situation that we're in in all of 2020 especially with the conholial sickness now this entire mess of a situation is definitely not made better by some of the world's richest men that are profiting highly off of everything that's happening right now Men who are invested in jab companies, who are not medical doctors, who are criticizing other people who are doing the same thing that they are. Meanwhile, here in the United States, the official treatment for the conholial sickness is costing people on average $3,000 for a drug that has been taxpayer funded and developed by which costs less than $10 to produce. By the way, the same drug, by the way, that now some scientific studies in the United Kingdom are showing is failing to even help people recover. But you're still going to pay top dollar as we are for almost every bad decision that the US government makes. A lot of businesses are going under. Meanwhile, the richest people are just getting richer with direct socialism from the u.s federal reserve that is literally injecting billions of dollars into the stock market and into some of the biggest companies in the world right now for doing absolutely nothing the rich are getting richer everyone else is just getting absolutely screwed as we are seeing a tsunami all throughout the hardest lockdown hit cities in the United States be wiped out. And while people are being arrested for not wearing a mask, we have politicians and their brother news anchors literally lecturing us about the importance of wearing a mask. Meanwhile, they don't do it themselves. Here, by the way, is Chris Como, who broke quarantine and has been warned by his official apartment complex that he will face consequences for not wearing a mask in his own building that he lives in. Yes, Andrew Como is literally walking around, shaking hands, breaking quarantine, not wearing a mask. Meanwhile, he's on the news shaming everyone else for doing what he does. And now we wonder, wh why have things gone to absolute shite? Why? Why has that happened? Uh, I just do... Uh... Excuse me, I'm just gonna go literally back in my freaking bubble because this is too stupid and ridiculous to deal with! Jeez! I mean, seriously! Can we just have some authenticity? Can we just have some truth? The little bit of it that's on this platform gets squeegee clean, just gets wiped off, just gets shadow banned, just gets censored, demonetized. No, you're not gonna make a living. No! You, you wanna do something that people like, that people enjoy? No, we gotta unsubscribe a bunch of people from you and make sure you're gonna be poor underneath a bridge begging for money. I refuse to let them win. Three unpopular truths. It looks like the lockdowns are not helping. Another reason why we have such a high death toll in the United States could be maybe because of morbidly obese people shoving fake GMO food down their throats. Another one could be because we don't actually talk about real health. We don't talk about the immune system. We don't talk about sleep. We don't talk about stress. We don't talk about a proper diet. We don't talk about getting vitamin D in its purest form outside. And if we did, well, gosh darn freaking damn it, maybe then, Maybe then we wouldn't have to deal with all this nonsense and crap. Jeez. Is that, is that hard? Again, um, maybe it is for some people. It's, again, it's important for you. Get that, get that mouse. Click the link. Share this video. You don't share this video. No one's going to see it. Trust me. We're, we're uh, facing uh, extreme amount of let's just say hooey out there i'm just gonna get back in my bubble uh, uh thank you guys for watching
Stay tuned for more on WeAreChange.org. Love ya.